As well known for his prominent cheekbones as he is for his acting ability, Killian Murphy has received critical praise for his roles in Oppenheimer and Peaky Blinders. But has the star ever had plastic surgery? This is Killian Murphy today, and this is Killian Murphy in 1998. Make sure to watch till the end of the video to find out which procedures Killian Murphy may have had over the years. In 1998, at the age of 22, you can see that Killian has a youthful, low hairline. He has horizontally oriented eyebrows, and he has a straight and narrow nose. And one of his great distinguishing features is the the volume that he has in his upper lip and his lower lip. Killian also has strong maxillary and mandibular bone structure. In 1999, at the age of 23, you can see that Killian has a moderate length to his philtrum, approximately maybe 14 to 16 millimeters. He has a well-defined Cupid's bow. And Killian has this unique juxtaposition of masculine facial bony structure combined with a more feminine lip composition. In 2001, at the age of 25, Killian has mild under eye hollowing. And I often get asked, like, what are the solutions to under eye hollowing? And essentially, there are some surgical and non-surgical solutions. On the non-surgical side, it's basically HA filler. Now, sometimes injecting filler into the cheeks can actually improve the under eye area. But if that doesn't help enough, then you can do direct injections into the under eye area with the right HA filler. Usually Usually that's Restylane L. And recently, the FDA has approved a new filler from Galderma called Restylane Eye Light. This was just recently approved for under eye hollows. And on the surgical side, there's a blepharoplasty that can be done for the lower eyelid. This can be done through a transconjunctival approach, which is the most common these days, or through a subciliary approach, which is right under the eyelid margin of the lower eyelid. And that can be used to address any type of excess fat that's in the area. And it can be used to smooth out the transition from the lower eyelid into the cheeks. In 2002, at the age of 26, what I see here is that Killian's hair naturally parts in the center. And this is a fairly uncommon pattern. Now, what a part line is, is basically where the hair starts to go in different directions. It basically starts to split off into opposite directions. And it's at part lines that we generally see a finer or thinner uh, look to the hair. And that's because of the split. Now, you can, of course, reposition where your part line is. But but when you really look there at a microscopic level, you'll see that there's a directional change to the hair that is more uh, of what you're born with and you can't fully change that. So while you can change the hairstyle, there will be an area where the hair naturally wants to part and it will always be thinner appearing in that location. So for Killian, it tends to be down the center. In 2007, at the age of 31, Killian has expected hairline recession that happens to most guys as they enter their early 30s. Now, this is a good time to consider adding finasteride to prevent further hair loss because once the recession continues and it gets deeper and deeper and you start to thin out more, it's much harder to get your hair back, even with surgery. So if you're interested in learning more about finasteride or other hair medications and different shampoos, conditioners that you can use to strengthen your hair, head to feelconfident.com. In 2008, at the age of 32, I see no changes, and that's the same through 2015. In 2016, at the age of 40, I'm seeing some signs of a potential brow lift surgery. You can see that the eyebrows are positioned higher, and he has more supertarsal show compared to before. The incisions for brow lifts are usually hidden either right at the hairline or more commonly behind the hairline. And an endoscopic brow lift, I would say, is the most common type that's performed these days, though there are other types. It doesn't have to be with the use of endoscopes. And usually there are several incisions that are placed along the hairline strategically so you can get the actual scopes in and the instruments that are used to do the actual elevation. And when performing a brow lift procedure, it's important to fully elevate down 
down to the level of the bone because if you just lift a little bit at the skin surface just like a facelift it's not going to last but if you release the actual ligaments that are holding these tissues in place then you're able to reposition tissues better and you get a longer lasting result in 2017 at the age of 41 Killian has a jawline with a slightly less taut configuration now that he's in his 40s compared to when he was in his 30s and this is a very common phenomenon as we enter into our 40s there is more of a laxity to the lower face and to the mid face and basically what that does is it creates this kind of redundancy of tissue and for some people there's even more of a sag and other people there's just a little bit of looseness at the jawline and some people can really sense that please make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications you can also see here that Killian's hair is starting to naturally get more gray hair color is controlled by whether melanocyte stem cells within the hair follicles get the signal to become mature cells these mature cells then go on to make the protein pigments responsible for color and these signals that the melanocyte stem cells get actually weaken as we age hence the hair becoming more gray. In 2018, at the age of 42, I see no change. And that's the same through 2022. And in 2023, at the age of 47, it's refreshing to see natural righted or wrinkles at the forehead and the glabella on an actor. That's not something we see often anymore, but Killian is sporting it well. We often talk about how celebrities have had many procedures over the years, but this is a great example of someone who has had very minimal procedures if any in his 30s and 40s and it's a reminder that most people don't even need plastic surgery at this age to look their best a lot of times with proper skin care and proper dieting and exercise and just an overall positivity on life you can look really great heading into your 50s and the total cost of these potential procedures is twenty thousand dollars since you like this video on killian murphy check out our facial plastic surgery analysis on jared leto Make sure to like the video and let me know in the comments below who you'd like me to cover next.